Hi, I'm John Wilde, historian of Aleppo Shrine in Boston Commandery. I brought you a piece today from the Aleppo uh, Shriners Archives. This is the first issue of the Aleppo Monthly News. Actually, I lied. It's not the first issue. It's the previous to the first issue. The first issue was published in February 1935. This is dated January 1935. It looks like any other issue, but when you open it up, you find that much of it is blank. This is the proof of concept that was put together by the would-be editor as what, what the magazine would contain and presented to the potentate and divan as uh, to sign off on. So if you go through, it shows that it does have some stories from the hospital system, because this was after the hospital was founded. It would have spots for the units, a uh, spot for the potentate to give his, his uh, story, some general interest pieces, and inputs from the units of the time. So this is uh, truly a one-of-a-kind issue. We are lucky to have a complete set of the Olympo Monthly News Magazine, which ran from... 1935 to 1949. There was no publication before that for Aleppo Shrine. After that, there were general notices for the ceremonial that had some news interest in them. And the Aleppo News Magazine, which is still published today, was not first published until 1968. Now, the interesting thing about this is, some of you may say, okay, well, I'm not a shrine, or I've never been in the shrine, never interested in the shrine. Why should I care about a shrine publication, especially a local one? Well, all of the shrine, all the shriners, the nobles who were in that, the shrine at the time, were all active masons. At the time, they had to either be a 32nd degree Scottish Rite Mason or a command, uh, Knight Templar in the York Rite to join. So in each issue, as with many publications of the time, there were news pieces, photos, announcements from all the different local Masonic bodies. Another publication I've worked on is the New England Craftsman, which would be, uh, would be changed the name to the Masonic Craftsman. That was a locally published piece, which, uh, publication, which had uh, pieces from all the different lodges and appendant bodies. Same with Aleppo. Um, especially where you had the Aleppo Arab Patrol, which is a marching unit. Pretty, Pretty much everybody in the Arab Patrol were active members of their Knights Templar commandery because they were both martial in nature. The Aleppo Arab Patrol actually had a commandery degree team with they, where they would go to commanderies and be the guest officers to perform the order, the orders of the night. So, we, uh, as I mentioned, we're fortunate to have a full set. I have digitized them. They are available on the Internet Archive. I will post a link. There's also a link to the um, New England Craftsman and Masonic Craftsman that we have. So all that information is available. You just have to go read them and look for it. Um, there are other publications we are working on in the future, including Moore's Monthly Masonic Magazine, which was published in the mid-1800s. I recently received a full set of those and will be digitizing those as well. But it's just worth it to take the time to say, even if I'm not specifically interested in this specific organization, there's plenty of crossover membership and crossover history. So it's worth the while to look at all avenues of, of interest, all avenues of possibility to find the story that you're looking for, because you never know what you're going to find. As, as I mentioned, there was no early publication uh, for Aleppo Shrine, and the early minutes really only talk about who was elected, who was initiated, who was installed. The actual stories have come from other publications, the New England Craftsman. Um, I had a series of magazines from the Boston Square and Compasses Club. Those had news pieces of interest from uh, Aleppo Shrine and other bodies. So it just takes a, a little bit of thinking outside the box and expanding your horizons to find the stories that are that have already been written down. We just need to rediscover them.
So if you like what you've seen, remember to like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Facebook. Thank you.